which wedges should a mid handicapper play? In my opinion, nobody needs a lob wedge until you're a very low figure handicap, low single digit. That's going to trigger a lot of people, but I don't care. Throw the lob wedge away. It's not helping you. As a mid handicapper, we're talking like maybe 10 to 15 handicaps, something like that. So you don't need those specialty clubs. You just need to be good at your pitching wedge and your sand wedge, at chipping and bunkers and pitch shots. But then, of course, you get a little bit more skill than a high handicapper. So you want to plug the gap between your 56 and your pitching. So you may want a 52 or a 50 degree to get an even gapping because you're going to see your pitching wedge will go 125 and your sand wedge is going to go like 95. So you need that 30 yard gap to be plugged unless you're very adept at a quarter pitching wedge or three quarter pitching wedge. That's where the 52 degree comes in. And this is an extra wedge to add to your bag. More valuable than a, a 60 degree. 60 degree is very specialty. You need it for like a couple shots around the, the course. You can use your 56 degree for all those shots. But the 52 can be great, especially if you're leaving yourself 110, 105, 115, if you don't have a club for that. Because inside wedge range is where you start to drop your score big time. So you want to have a good pitching wedge, a gap wedge, sand wedge, three wedges, because the wedge game is so important. Chipping, pitching, approach shots from 125 and in. Why not maximize your ability with reliable clubs? No 60 degree, that's going to cost you shots. These three, all you need.